pencils and, and, and rulers and... No, and, I actually and, had mechanical and, pencils. Yeah, that's... Uh -huh. well, I studied and graduated, I don't know about you. Well, I did a lot of studying, but they didn't teach any of it in school. That's, I was going to be real careful on that one. Well, that's got one of the... the, but these, the are, these are old school, though. I mean, just the tray alone is... You know, I can't see it from here. I'll get maybe a close-up. Sonic Drive-In, you know, and it's... Man, this is the like, metal. And notice yeah. they don't leave the tray on your window anymore, and it's the plastic ones. Yeah, this is, this is back when, you know, they'd hook it on there. And actually, there was a really good gag in um, uh, National Lampoon's Vacation where they go to a, a Sonic-type joint where they put it up on the window, and it's got so much crap on it, it never it breaks the window out. And uh, the, the thing that I remember when I would see that as a kid, go, man, all that hamburger and stuff. Because <laughs> I think they had like big goblets with root beer floats. I'm going, man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Especially when I had stuff out on the tray. A few minutes later, after I got done organizing yeah. the stuff on the tray, I really want food bad, but I mean, we're just talking And you had the pencils. perfect tray for serving your... We were just talking pencils and erasers. <laughs> But this has got the classic, Dave's not here. Dave's not here, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as far as Cheech and Chong go, I think they're all, they do had they, they did have some good good movies. I think they had more bad movies than they had good movies. <laughs> yeah. You got any more stuff? Yeah, I got a couple more things. Oh Lord, <laughs> my favorite, Marx Brothers. Yeah, I yeah. love me Old some school. Marx Brothers. Yeah, and I got this at Reasons when they're trying to get rid of everything. Also, the collector's box, you know. Collector's box. VHS cassette. Exactly, exactly. I know, these, you know, in VHS, that, they, it's gone the way of the dodo bird. I don't even think they make stuff for VHS anymore. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't, and you don't, certainly don't see it uh, advertised on, on any. Actually, I think I've seen like a six or 12 pack of VHS tapes for sale for like a dollar. You know, back in the day, they were like 10 bucks or, you know, almost like $2, $2 a tape. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a lost format. But uh, like I said, let me some March Brothers. They hung around a long time though. Oh yeah, oh yeah, longer than beta. Yeah, and uh, you know, but, and DVD, you know, it held on pretty pretty good even at, when DVD started to kind of take mm -hmm. root. You, you would kind of think, oh, it's it's gone. Mm -hmm. but, uh, it, it didn't want to die. It was like Grandpa Jones. It just <laughs> it, was, it, was it just didn't finally die. Just hanging <laughs> on until the till the, the to the bitter end. What else you got over there? I can't see anything, folks. I don't have much Last context. one here: Santa Claus conquers the Martians. And uh, you know what? Here here is a quick a, a quick clip. From, from this this wonderful movie. On Mars? Will we get a Santa Claus? There's only one Santa Claus, and he's on Earth. <laughs> well, I guess that takes care of that. Didn't I tell you it was a foolish idea to seek advice from that old man? This is a serious matter, Voldar. And desperate problems require desperate deeds. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. I'm against it. Our children are fine the way they are. I don't want any Santa Claus bringing them toys and games. They'll start playing and laughing and running underfoot. They'll become a nuisance. I've made my decision. We leave for Earth tonight. Rigna, Lomas, prepare spaceship number one. Wow, that was... Oh, uh, man. Cinema uh, at its, its best, really. And this is not shown as Star Wars or compared to Blade Runner? It's one of those missed classics. I, I, know, I don't know why it never caught on, and, and, and it's not, you know, a, a merchandising juggernaut. It should be up there with, like, Christmas Story. Well, it makes Christmas Story look like I know, lentil. I know, lentil. Or yentl. <laughs> yentl, lentil. Yentl with Barbra Streisand. But, uh, Pia... Horrible movie. <laughs> it was awful. I'm but, sorry. Uh, Pia Zadora is in this movie. She has a part as a Martian, and she's like this B-grade actress and, you know, does... Yeah, there's no... Everybody in this is B-everything. This is the epitome of an old uh, B-movie that, you know, I mean, we look at it now and, and, and laugh and go, that's old and, and funny and, and campy, but, I, you know, I, I think probably back then when it was being made, there was a sense of legitimacy to what they were doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were trying. Now, when people make bad movies, they let you know that it's a, it's a bad movie. <laughs> I'll tell you, a really bad movie I saw from the 80s was Cool as Ice with Vanilla Ice. Yeah, two hours of my life I can never get back. Oh, man. I know. I forgot all about that. Oh, man. And he had a, he had a, a cameo in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, uh, as well as uh, providing a song for the soundtrack. Isn't his name like Robert Van Winkle or Rip, yeah, yeah. Rip Van Winkle? Ro Robbie Van Winkle. Yeah, from Dallas or something. And okay, Greg. Well, it's a little stroll down the uh, the history of some of uh, some American 
humor through the ages. I mean, we got everything from the Marx Brothers to George Carlin to, to semi-recently uh, Adam Sandler. I can't even find the no contact sign. Okay, folks, we will see you next week. James Townsend will be on. Calm down. Calm down. All right. And you can see the show anytime you stink and want on the internet at intv.me. So until what? Oh, I, 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 well, I got to interrupt. I'm well, sorry. I'm sorry. The, I love the mixtape James made for you. That was so cute at the end of the show. Actually, that was cool, James. I, I give props. That was really cool closing. James is a good musician, oh, man. I, I don't doubt it. You, you know, hey. I know he's got a weird elf thing going on, but that doesn't mean he can't dump some bass cables or play some guitar or he's pounding skins for locusts, right? And now. also, one last thing, May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month. Put on a hat, put on some sunscreen, put on some cool shades, don't get sunburned. Yeah, and I will do none of those. Okay, folks, <laughs> we'll see you uh, next week. Yo!